Badlands, Badlands, Badlands by the sea. Roll up, roll up and enjoy all the fun of the fair. The fairground attraction was one of the major draws for families taking a break at Butlins back in the 30s and 40s. In fact, Billy Butlin made his living from fairgrounds before launching his famous holiday resorts. He also brought one of the fairground favourites, the Dodgem cars, to Britain. Fairgrounds are a British tradition. It's fantastic entertainment. You can go on a fair and enjoy it and you don't even have to go on the rides and it's the music, the sound, everything about it and it reminds people of their childhood. And now ready in time for this year's holiday makers, the traditional fairground at Bognor has been refurbished and relaunched, complete with classics like the Helter Skelter, Carousel and of course the Dodgems. Relaunching our fairground was really a consequence of perhaps a, a little bit of a tired area of our business anyway, but probably more importantly we listened to our guests and, and what they told us was the swimming pools, our evening entertainment and our fairgrounds were the three most important factors of why they came and why they came back to us. So it seemed a fairly simple decision to invest our cash into, into developing a, a great fairground experience. When they were planning the development of the modern day fairground, staff at Butlins looked to the past for inspiration. Nostalgia is really important and you know part of Butlins is about celebrating our heritage and whilst we try and make everything 21st century I think the fairground is the one area of the business that we felt offered nostalgia. Billy Butlin was the man who brought Dodgems into the UK. Billy Butlin was a showman and Billy Butlin, his history was in fairgrounds so it felt that we were honouring our past by developing a nostalgic fairground experience. But remember it's got 21st century values and 21st century features. Butlins came to me just to ask advice on what the kind of fair Billy Butlin would have wanted or would have had. So really I wanted to go in the 20s and 30s when he put his fairground together, it was the latest in modernity, it was the push button fair. Because he was a showman who started on a hoopla, the sideshows, the stalls were as much a part of it. So it wasn't an amusement park in that way. It was still a fair by the seaside. Billy Butlin believed the sideshows were just as important as the rides, and this has been continued in today's fairground with 21st century technology which brings characters such as Arachnia the Spider Woman and the Mad Scientist and Werewolf to life. And the modern day fairground has been given the thumbs up by Redcoats both past and present. You never grow up on a fairground. It's, it's that experience, it's, it's sound, it's, it's the music, even the smells, the candy floss. The excitement, the screams, <laughs> the joy of, of, of what's happening in that, that small area. The admission or classes, everybody could come, fun for, fun for the whole family. So I think the fair now reflects that, what it would have done in, in Billy Butlin's day.